Hey, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Donna from Terra Terra. On a quick read for you, we're going to take this die to choose the decks to make the message you need here. At the end, we'll do six cards of Donna's Destiny, and then we'll do the all signs. If you're dealing with an Aries, if you're dealing with a Taurus, if you're dealing with a Gemini, if any sign repeats, I'll point that out in case that's confirmation of somebody you came here to hear about. If any card repeats, I'll point that out in case that's something you need to hear. There is a playlist called Random with deck reviews in it that I've done, and I wanted to let you know. I just wanted to get an idea of what was going on, Libra. Um what's going on in your life, you know, before I start the the actual reading. So I took this deck and I did just a cursory shuffle and look. So on the bottom, after I shuffled, I got the, the two of wands, which tells me that a lot of you all are at a crossroads in some way, shape or form. Um, in some part of your life, maybe your, your work life, your, you know, your relationships, um, I don't know, you know, something, or it could be just your entire life in general. You might, you decide, you know, am I going to stay here and do this? Or am I just going to, up, you know, do a complete upheaval, you know, change up my life and uproot everything and, and move someplace else? And do, I don't know. But you're at some kind of a crossroads. So um, the first three cards off the top, I just started looking. So it looks like you're trying to decide between doing what makes you... Uh, feel good and being a little bit impulsive and just kind of whatever strikes your fancy <laughs> or um, you know whether or not to invest in something so and here's here's the cards as they came out so you know you're trying to decide between just having fun and doing what whatever makes you happy and you know in living in the moment or um, investing in something something someone I'm not sure what it is so I pulled one more card and look at this, Libra. This is the Ten of Cups. This is like the ultimate happiness, right? And it came out, look at this. It came out right next to the the, um, the Knight of, I can't even do this. Look at this. I have, I have small hands. But anyway, um, it came out right next to the, uh, the Knight of Pentacles. So is taking the time to invest in something going to bring you your ultimate happiness? Because look at the colors and look at how everything blends together. Um, so... Well, let's take a look and see what's going on. But um, I almost feel like for some of you all, if you take the time, it could be something that started off um, impulsively that you're now um, trying to invest in. And by doing so, it's going to lead to your Ten of Cups. I'm not sure. But but when you look at the progression of how the, just the image looks, I don't know if you can look at that, but just see how the image progresses, if that gives you any indication of what's going on. So, but especially these two, look how they just, they, they kind of go together, don't they? So I feel like some of you all are trying to decide whether or not to invest in something, put the time in something. Um, and if you do, I feel like it's going to pay off, but let's just see. So first of all, um, let's see what deck we're using for your first spread. We're going to use the Radiant Wise deck for your first spread. So it's this deck. Um. This one. And what spread are we going to do for you all? Is it going to be love, money, career? What is it going to be? Ugh, and I have allergies. So if I sound congested, if I sneeze, it's it's allergies. I've been, they've been kicking my butt for the last, I don't know, several weeks now. And I'm not an allergy person, so there's that. All right, so, wow, wow. I kind of feel like this plays into it. Um, it's called Are They Worth It is the first spread. So it is a seven card spread done with the uh, Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot deck. Oh, Jesus. All right, so let's take a look and see what's going on. Look at that. So on the bottom of the deck, it didn't want to show it first because um, it wanted to show you the Ten of Cups again. There, That's Piscean energy, but, but Ten of Cups is like, happily ever after. And then this was what was actually on the bottom. So I don't know if you all don't want to be single, if you're single and you're tired of being single, or if you want to go back to being single, or if you're trying to decide whether or not to go back to being single. Um, is being single going to lead you to your ultimate happiness? I don't know. So let's just take a look and see what's going on. That is also a, a uh, the, that was the, the Nine of Pentacles is a, a Virgo card. All right, so, um, are they worth it? Okay. 
Okay, so I think, is this one of the ones that I did? This might be one of the ones I did for the shorts, <laughs> which I'm going to do another series of shorts after I do your reading. Uh, let's see, we're Libra, Scorpio, and Sag. And then I'm going to do a series of shorts. And I don't know what they're going to um, be on. We'll find out. But, um, all right, so this signifies that person. So is this somebody who's either foreign, they do a lot of traveling, um, they live a distance from you? This is This signifies them. Okay, this is the person. So the, it could be somebody also who has um, kind of fixed energy. Um, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. So they could be somebody who's stubborn. Um, how they see you is being stuck. <laughs> this is how they see you, Libra. They see you as being stuck. Um, how they feel about the relationship. Actually, they feel like it, you know it's something that could grow. Possibly that um, you could have children together. I'm looking, I'm distracted by this because look at this. It looks like the, see this pole or whatever here? It looks like the uh, the eagle is on the end of it. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. It looks like he's on the end of it. But, uh, so they feel like, you know, that the relationship is, you know, something in which it can grow. Maybe you can have children together because, you know, it's the Empress card. That's a, um, that's actually a Taurus, it's a Venus card. Venus rules Taurus and Libra. So they feel like they, you know, they could grow with you. Um, something you're ignoring about this person, though. Um, are you ignoring that they're, <laughs> that they have daddy energy? Every time I look at the King of Cups, I get daddy energy. Look at this. But they're emotionally mature. I like this. They have a lot of love for you. Maybe that's what's going on is you're, you're, I don't know if you're getting cold feet and you're wanting to ignore that they have a lot of love for you. What the relationship is based on. Um... Okay, so now when sometimes when I look at this card, I get a feeling of control, and that's because the person driving it has control over, um, you know, the two different. Normally, it's two different teams of horses. Um, so, no. Is your relationship based on forward movement, or is it based on control? Or control something about control. It's also ant seeking answers like learning. Um, this is what the the relationship is supposed to be based on. That's a Cancer card, but it's um you know it has to do with forward movement, travel. Actually, maybe that's what it is. Again, it could have something to do with travel. And once again, you could live a distance away from each other. Um, but what is the future of the relationship? Wow. I mean, at the very least, that's that's pretty nice. That's a uh, having it all, right? Look, Ten of Pentacles is like having it all. Like, um, you know, you want for nothing. So that's actually nice. What, so what's a lesson from this, though? Um, focus on your stability. Now, um, I do want to caution you against being materialistic. Because sometimes this card um, gives off shades of materialistic. But it's, you know, the lesson is, you know, bossing up financially and getting stable so that's the lesson is, is getting stable you know financially in every other way so are they worth it i feel like i mean i don't know what you think but I'm, i feel like that would be a yes uh, i don't see anything negative in this i really don't all right so what is your next spread we're gonna i'm gonna try to do three spreads for you and then and then we'll do the six cards and the all signs all right so and then we'll see if anything repeats too all right, so on the bottom of the deck, before I forget to look at that. Okay, this is working together. And since I don't see any other threes, I'm not going to do with the whole, you know, third person stuff. I'm not, we're not doing that. Um, this is a spirit of teamwork and working together. So I really like that. So are they worth it? Um, I feel like, yes, actually I have a low battery warning. Okay, so we're going to have to hurry it up here. Uh, future love. So... Who is your future love? Um, okay, so if this is somebody, if you're not dating somebody, so let's see. If there's somebody you're either not interested in, um, if there's somebody you don't, you don't have any interest in, rather. Um, let's see. Light Seers. Okay, so we're going to use this deck. Wow. Those just wanted to fly out of the deck. And they're face down, so I'm not picking them up. All right, so future love. Done with the Lightseer's deck. 
Oh, your future true love. Once again, look at this. And I have to kill that low battery warning. Okay, so hold on a second. Let me kill the low battery warning. While I'm up, I might as well find out which two cards these were. That didn't want to, or three cards that didn't want to be seen. So the three cards that did not want to be seen, the Page of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. I don't know about that, the whole page of, or the ace, the four of wands. I don't like that that didn't want to be seen, but we'll come back to that. Um, so they didn't want to be a part of it. All right, so um, whenever cards jump out and they go face down, it's like they're not, they don't want to be seen. When they, they jump out and they're face up, they're saying, hey, look at me. That's how I interpret it. Um, but look at this. Your very first card, once again, is the world card. So your future true love, once again, them in this de in this spread and your true love in this spread. So once again, it's somebody that could live as a distance from you or they could be foreign or they could be somebody who's just kind of stubborn. Um, somebody who likes to travel or just tra does a lot of traveling for a living. But, you know, this is the, the person, the world card, right? So will the attraction be instant? Um, I'm going to say, hell yeah. Look at this. Will it be instant? So if there's a, if there's a new person um, or you're focused on new, that it's a definite yes. Um, will the what will the person be like? Um, oh Jesus, Libra. This almost reminds me of you all uh, because you get a reputation for having a hard time making a decision. <laughs> Y'all get a reputation for always weighing the odds, right? Juggling sometimes, juggling people. But always weighing the options. So, what they're gonna, what they're going to be like is somebody who possibly juggles or is always weighing their options. So, what are the, what's the challenges? Um, the past, maybe, um, you or they either somehow somehow bring the past into this. Hopefully, they're not dealing with a past person. Um, let me just take a look. What will help? Um, oof, I don't know about all that. The devil card. What will help? And then where? How will you meet? Um, death card. Okay, so if there's a new person you're thinking about, or if you're focused on new, um, I'm going to say hold off. <laughs> hold off on new right now because, yes, the traction will be instant. It'll probably be somebody who's foreign or who travels a lot. Um, they're going to be a juggler, and they're going to have a hard time like, deciding what they want. They're going to bring the past to, into things in some way, shape, or form. What will help? I don't know how the devil energy is going to help. Right? How's that going to help? Um, delving into unhealthy habits. So maybe being aware of, um, just being aware of unhealthy habits and, and, and knowing that it's there. Um, when, where, how will you meet death and rebirth? So um, when you end things with somebody, I'm just going to say this, Libra. Um, I'm going to say no for new right now. Don't do... If if you're th if you're if you don't have somebody, hold off. Um, in fact, heal, heal, and focus on your connection to the you know the the all one, the universe, you know the the energy source, however you want to put that. Focus on healing. All right. So um, and then reveal your crush's secret fantasy and then seduce them. Okay, this is just a fluff spread, and I almost am tempted. I'm not going to, but I'm almost tempted to just to like tear this one up and throw it out, but I'm not going to. It's a fluff spread. It's for fun. Um, your crush's secret sex fantasy and deepest desire. So if you have a crush, um, and we're going to use, which deck are we going to use for this one? Um, we are using Wizard's Tarot. Um, that is this one. All right, so it's a fluff spread. Oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to have to take some kind of decongestant. And I don't want to because it's 8.30 at night and i got to go to bed. And I don't know if it's going to cause a problem with my sleep. <laughs> Not that anything could, I guess, make it worse because I can't sleep for the shit. But all right. So let's see. Um, your crush's secret fantasy and deepest desire. Okay. First of all, let's look and see what's on the bottom of the deck. When we put this away last, what's what was on the bottom of the deck? Just to get a clue. Um... Seven of Wands. <laughs> is this somebody that I swear? Okay, so this version of Seven of Wands, I gotta show you because normally it's somebody who is defensive, um, stands their ground. But look, look how they're almost like running. It's like everybody's running them out of town, right? Look at all these flaming arrows running them out of town. That's how it looks to me. 
So they're like running away. All right. So unless they're leading the charge, are they leading the charge? I don't, I don't think that's it. I don't think that's it. Cause it looks like they're all aiming for that person. All right. So, um, what is their secret sex fantasy and deepest desire? Fluff spread. All right. It's just a three card spread. So we can do that real quick. Um, okay. So you get the star card again. That's that's um a an Aquarius card, and I just thought to I didn't think to look. Okay, yeah, nothing else repeated. So just the world card, which is the fixed signs, um, and then the star card, which is an Aquarius card. But um, I don't know, like the. I swear to God, I almost get pouring out emotion in two different places, which would indicate to me two different people so I'm not saying this person's interested in a threesome however see how the this you know they're pouring out the the water into two different locations right um and to me water is emotions so pouring out emotions in two different you know pouring your emotion out to two different people I, I don't know so possibly possibly a threesome um seduce how to make your crush powerless to your charms um i don't i mean i don't think it's are they interested in <laughs> gambling i don't know if that's it um i am not getting anything off of that I mean, it's almost like if you act single, it turns this person on. So if you have a crush um, and you act single, it really turns this person on. It, it's, I, I don't like if you, I don't know how to explain that. Other than to say, if you just act like you're hot shit and you don't need anybody, that confidence really turns them on. Um, so the sexy potential, <laughs> you and your crush in bed. Um, once again, I almost feel like if you got a crush on somebody, Libra, I almost feel like this person, whether you realize it or not, is into threesomes. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I mean, here's this. I got it before, and I was like, well, I don't know. Um, but I feel like, okay, unless you're reuniting with somebody, <laughs> uh, but that's not a that's not a secret crush. So, you know, right? Reveal your crush's secret fantasy and seduce them. So I always feel like this, if you got a crush on somebody, whether you realize it or not, this person is into threesomes. <laughs> they, they like that. They like involving more than uh, two people in the bedroom. So six cards done is destiny. And then we're going to move on to the um, all signs and then close this out. And I should have charged the phone because I may only be able to do Libra. <laughs> All right. So let's see argument Ooh, okay new look is in reverse so don't spend money oh focus on self-love at this time see this is to me this is healing self-love and healing right here um usually if i get the queen of cups that's all about self-love you know focus on your own love um but look focus on self-love at this time so healing healing um apply for it but not a not a new look um so it's you know a raise um a loan, a, you know, a new relationship, although it says apply, but, you know, you know, go for a new relationship. Stop wasting money. Ooh, okay, a lot of people get that one. Um, and then someone secretly lusts for you. Okay, so there's that. All right, so if you're dealing with an Aries, um, we are going to use this deck because I already used the Radiant Wise deck. But I have a backup. All right, so if you're dealing with an Aries, they may want to... Um, by the way, whoever you're dealing with, they might want to uh, balance things out. They may feel like things have not been fair. They haven't been balanced. So they're trying to, maybe they feel like they haven't been giving equally and now they're ready to. I don't know. Um, all right. So if you're dealing with an Aries, um, they're trying to be patient, but they're, <laughs> but it ain't going to work because they're going to come rushing in to communicate with you. Um, if you're dealing with a Taurus, they got a lot of passion for you. Um, and they're focused on stability right now. Gemini is um, a little bit on the manipulative side and emotionally immature. 
and you probably already knew that about that Gemini. Um, Cancer sees you as their um, wish fulfillment, um, and they're they're kind of weighing their options. Hopefully, they're not juggling. Here's the thing: if you are their wish fulfillment, then why would they be juggling, right? So, are they like one of these codependent, almost narcissistic types that like has to have somebody at all times? Um, and just can't be faithful. I, I don't know. If you're dealing with a, a cancer, just they see it as wish fulfillment, but maybe they're just weighing their options. Hopefully, they're not juggling. If you're dealing with a Leo, um, they see you as their two of cups. They want to share love with you, and they may have an apology. If you're dealing with a Virgo, um, they're focusing on work. Look at that. That is the funniest shit ever. Look, this is the Virgo. Okay, in both cards are Virgo cards. The Hermit and the Eight of Pentacles are both Virgo cards. So they're focusing on work right now. They're just focusing on work and um, they're just kind of hiding out and seeking answers, trying to figure out what, what the heck to do. Um, the fellow Libra sees it as a disaster, but they got a lot of love for you. Um, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, they want to reunite and at the same time they want to end things. Okay, they're <laughs> bipolar maybe. Um, Sagittarius is a little bit materialistic, um, but they want form of movement. They also like control. Um, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, um, they stress out too much. They spend way too much time stressing out. They're always losing sleep. Um, actually, I feel like the lack of sleep that they're having is actually having a really bad effect on them, too. It's kind of messing with them. Like, messing with their head. Um, if you are dealing with... Okay, who am I? One, two, three, four. Okay. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they are heartbroken and feel like this is a burden. Okay. So they're, well, heartbroken and burdened. Okay, so that's what it is. They're feeling heartbroken and burdened. If you are dealing with a Pisces, they're going to come rushing in because they, they, they're confident that you, they can make things work. They feel like um, you all can grow together. Um, they're really optimistic and you make them happy. So they're rushing towards you because you make them really happy. Um, and here, here you are waiting just to see if you put things in motion and not in motion and now you're just waiting to see what's going to happen all right libra i love you thank you so much and i will see you all in the next one